Okay, Shalom, 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 Kwame Yesha Allah, Koholoyim, La Yahweh Bashimi, Awashai, Bahashim, Kaha Kutash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, they by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Shah Nanawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And uh, let me start here with Ephesians 4 and 26. It says, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. In the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. Because what do the scriptures say? Um, anger rests up in the, um, the bosom of fools. I think it's how it's. Let me see. It's a lucky. I'm probably spelling that all wrong. And I'm going to get off into, you know, why I'm doing this lesson. Oh, this is a, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. It says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. And, and I like to, you know, just really just give all praises to you. How about Shimei was shy? You know what I'm saying? Because it. Let's me know that we do have wisdom when you actually activate when you go off into these scriptures and you use them to navigate through life It's a beautiful thing, man It's a super duper beautiful thing because I came out the house. I was just about to do a lesson I, um, I went to my truck and of course, you know what I'm saying Somebody tried to take it somebody tried to steal it, right? They broke up some shit. You know what I'm saying steering column all that good stuff Key ignition broke and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I looked at it you know, I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm still going to do this lesson. I just walked away from I closed the door <laughs> and walked away from it and, and just just immediately turned on the record and still got off into the lesson that I was about to do. You see, because I understand that man's goings are of you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. That wouldn't have happened unless the Lord wanted that to happen. There's no way that that could have happened unless the Lord wanted, um, wanted that to happen. You see, there's just absolutely no way. Because my neighbor, he gets off later at night. I was kicking it with him. And he was telling me, he was like, oh, yeah, I heard the truck trying to start. I thought it was you. Because, you know, the neighbors across the street, they keep a lot of shit going. You know, police be over there. But, you know, um, and he said they was arguing and fighting and scrapping and shit. But at, in the midst of that, it's a nigga trying to steal my vehicle. And then he said that up the street from there, you know, the police officers is out on the intercoms telling some nigga to come out the house. So it was all kinds of demonic shit going on right here within my <laughs> vicinity, so to speak. Right. But, you know, it, the, the point that I wanted to make is I didn't get mad about it, man. I just went ahead. I'd done that lesson. You know, I, you know, I took a couple of photos because it's a, a mechanic shop up the street that I normally deal with anyway. You know what I'm saying? I showed them what, what the damage was because, of course, I couldn't drive it there because they done fucked it up. But, you know, the uh, mechanic shop, they like, oh, man, they've they been knowing me, you know, because I go through there and I use the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I always pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai before I go there as well. You know, I use the wisdom of the scriptures. I go in and I speak like I got some sense. I speak according to the scriptures to them and they understand that, you know, now they know me like, oh, you know, they call me by name. Oh, what's going on? And, they, and, you know, they actually really genuinely, you know, even though they were, you know, from a heathen nation, they seem more genuinely um, concerned than my neighbors right next to me and stuff like that, man. I spoke to the block club leader. He lives right next door to me, you know, and I'm thinking like, you know, can, well, you know, can you go back on the footage? I know, you you know, because he's got cameras everywhere. Can you go back on the footage to around two o'clock or so in the morning, whatever, whatever? Nah, you know, and then, you know, um, my neighbor, he's getting ready to peel away. You know, I ain't want to, you know, keep him late or anything like that because he was going to work or whatever. But, you know, he didn't offer to say, well, hey, you know, you going to the, oh, well, let me drop you off real quick. That's only not even two minutes up the street. Let me drop you off because it was about to rain because I was about to go back in the house because at first I was going to walk up there. Then, you know, I got, you know, I was like, well, uh, let me grab this electric scooter out and I'll whip out on that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and that's what I've done. But long story short. <laughs> I went through all that, and, and, and this is not the first thing that's done happened to me this week. Within this, this it's just been like th this. This enemy has been trying to stop me from doing the work, man. 
And that's another thing that I wanted to go into. Now, you, hey, look, I don't give a fuck what goes on or what happens. Th these are minor little things, man, when it comes to Jacob's trouble and what's to come. If something like that would, would piss you off, you know, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you know, you work hard for things. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody just breaking into your shit. But if, it, it, if, it, if something like that can just break you down and you just like, oh, man, you know what? Fuck this, man. You know? Ever since I came into this truth, I've been going through, and, and I'm not going to front, you know, ever since I've come into this truth, hey, it hasn't been easy. I remember before I came into this truth, everything was just moving smoothly and gravy. I'm just like, I'm, I was out here soon as I came into this truth, bro. I've been going through, <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, sometimes it'll be tougher than others, you know. Some some sometimes it'll be like what the you know, but it hasn't been no let up. I, I really haven't been able to um sleep like that in years. You know what I'm saying? I used to get all the most peaceful sleep in the world. Soon as I came into this truth, that shit was done with. Ailments starting to get aches. You know, just shit. <laughs> but I understand that you know that is a part of going in. That's a part of being in this truth, man. So use the scriptures that and you know what I need. To, that's a T-shirt because I've been saying that all along. I, I've been I, I've done a few lessons on that. Like just use the scriptures, man. Soon as I seen that damage to my truck, I was like, man, fuck that, man. I'm about to do this lesson. I hit the record button and 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 and, and, and went up into my lesson like nothing ever even happened. I ain't even give a fuck. <laughs> like man, fuck like fuck this, man. I don't give a shit. I'm about to do this work. You know, and then the scripture goes off into, um, what's that? Uh, oh, and also the reason why I said I, I started to say what I'm saying is because when I was kicking it with everybody that I told, which I didn't kick it with a lot of people about it, but everybody that I told what happened, oh, I would have put some hot bullets in his ass. I would have. So I, I went to the shop. It's an old man. At, um, and it's a Jake. He generally sits off in there. Um, you know, these Chaldeans, they're pretty cool with him. He sits up off in there and just have come, you know, retired, don't have nothing to do and just sit there in the damn chair and just be conversating all day. But, you know, he telling me about how many niggas he done shot in his lifetime. He was an older Jake, too. I shot a nigga in my in the ass for being in my, in my backyard. All kind of, He was bleeding and leaking all up and down. The, you know, the side. I'm looking like, man, you know, but that's the difference between a man of the Lord that's into these, this truth and the difference between him and a carnal nigga. Because all these other niggas was like how they would have shot. I would have done this one. Well, first off, I wouldn't have been able to do nothing because I didn't know this motherfucker was even in there to begin with. You know, but you know how Jake get down, man. Jake, could, you know, you know, searching through the hood. Niggas asking questions. Yeah, such and such, such and such. You know, that nigga, man, hey, he, you know, you, you hear you you hear a little word of mouth. You you know who in the hood that's pretty much, you know, that nigga dirty. He'll, he'll watch out for that nigga right there. He'll get down on you. So the average Jake, shh, a, a worldly carnal nigga, man, they, shh, motherfuckers would have been, been, you know, asking questions. And anybody name came up, and if they name came up more than once, it ain't even had to come up more than once. Yeah, I know what that nigga had. I'm about to roll up. <laughs> but, you know, no, nah, no, nah, that, that's, that's not my attitude. I'm just like, you know, hey, I know that man's going of the Lord, and, and, and it is what it is. You know, I was a little bit upset right off, but then it dawned on me. Like, nah, man, I'm about to do this fucking lesson. That's the way, that's the way I be seeing stuff now. When when shit happen, bad shit happen, that's when I go harder. For you, how about shit me, I was shy. And matter of fact, you know what? There's a scripture. Let me see. This comes to mind. Let me see if I can find it though. You have this 2 Corinthians right here. Let me see. I think this is it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me see. This year, I think this is it. Whoo. Yep. This is it. Hey, yeah. Let me get this, bro. Let me start up some. I might have to get it all. I'm going to start from the top. 2 Corinthians 12 and 1. It says, It is not expedient me, it, it is not expedient for me to, to, 
It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to, to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Yahweh Mashiach. I knew a man in, in, in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, above 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. Yahweh knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. Yahweh knoweth. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such in one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmities. See? So we, we glory in our infirmities. We glory when bad shit happens. Like, because you know what? what? What did Job say? Job said, hey, the Lord giveth and taketh away. <laughs> you know? Anything that you had, the Lord gave it to you. And he can take it away from you whenever he wants to. And what are you going to do about it? So why are you going to, you know, getting all, you know, upset and all just out of whack about it? Man, just say, all oh, praises to you. How about Shimei Shai? You want to have that Job um, um, mentality, that Job um, attitude, man. Right? But let's go further. It says, for thou, for though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth. But now I but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in, in the flesh. This, this is the point that I wanted to get into. So Paul is like, you know, this was a thorn given to me in, in, you know, in the flesh. He says, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice. He said he went to the Lord three times about it. Right? That it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient. This is the Lord Yahweh Shai speak. It's in red letter, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. Check out what the Lord said. He says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness see our strength is made perfect in weakness man it says most gladly therefore will i rather glory in my infirmities that the power of yahweh shah mashiach may rest upon me and, and that's the way that i feel I, I i feel like the lord is resting upon me man i've been going through mad shit this past couple <laughs> couple of weeks i went and bought some new things you know what i'm saying to further the gospel you know you know like tripods and you know uh you know i didn't need this new bible but i really wanted this new bible i grabbed it though because it's got some really good precepts that's the only reason i wanted it and you know it was the last one i kept seeing that last bible i bought it from walmart i'm like man every time i come through there i see it i always pull it out the little sleeve little box i'm like man you don't need that bible you know, I've been saying that for about a year, man. You don't need that Bible. Same Bible sitting there. You don't need that Bible. You got all kinds of Bibles at the house. But I'm looking at the bottom. I'm like, but it's got all these dope precepts. It's got more precepts than the Bibles that I have at the crib. You know, so eventually it dawned on me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this Bible. I grabbed a new Bible. And, you know, stuff like that. You know, it kind of, you know, it, you know, it kind of gives you a boost. You know, like, um, you know. That first love, you know, when you first came into the scriptures, you got you a little, you know, a little something, something. You're like, oh, man, you know. But like I said, again, I ended up getting, a, uh, you know, just some things for the ministry to go out on the road, man. You know what I'm saying? So I be holding, you know, we hold camp in a whole different area. So I'm most definitely, you know, I want to try and have, the, you know, my vehicle fixed by the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shah so I can get to camp. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, right now, you know, I know I could pull up. I could pull up on me and um he'll swoop up on me and, and 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 um you know and grab me up but you know hey I mean it is what it is man but I wanted to just touch on this so just don't 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 let this motherfucker get you down man cuz there's going to be things coming your way from all angles especially man if you into this truth especially it's like the niggas that's out here it just seems like the niggas that's out here that's into no good don't nothing ever happen to their asses, man. But the Lord, hey, but but you know what? There's a buildup of iniquity, that sin upon sin upon sin. 
And then, you know, we want to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that, it, you know, we've done anything wrong or we've wronged somebody. We want to, you know, you most definitely want to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on a day to day basis. Please forgive me, Yahweh, for anything that I've done, you know, um, um, that I, I, I didn't intentionally try and do or the things that I intentionally done. You see what I'm saying? Because I could have been. I could have let that whole situation with my my ride, you know what I'm saying, go to my head. And I could have been like, man, fuck everybody. Sick of this shit. Fuck the world. Fuck a And that's how a lot of Jake B. Things get to adding up, you know. Tribulations get to adding up. You don't want to, to be one of those people where, you know, um, you're being taken away from this truth and, and just being disobedient to the Lord, you know, because some shit happened, man, to some damn material goods. Cause like I said, when I was kicking it with my neighbors, and I was, you know, the people that I was kicking it with, they were just thinking on some carnal shit. I'm just telling them like, hey, you know, hey, shit, that shit don't bother me, man. I don't give a fuck. Hey, the Lord is giving me the means to have it fixed, you know, to have the, the repairs done, and then we move on, man. We just keep it moving, you know, shit. Fuck it, man. I mean, it is what it is. So don't let nothing get you down to the point where, you know, um, you want to do something. Get yourself in some shit. And it ain't even got to be something physically that you're doing to a person that can, you know, have the police called on you or something like that. It can just be you being a certain way that goes outside of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not just out here just because we're in a spiritual war. We're in a spiritual fight and, and, and our weapons are not carnal. You know, you can have an ill thought against um, somebody. You know what I'm saying? You can have, you know, you it, you know, it can be something as sim simple as that. You can hold, be holding grudges. You know, you holding those grudges. You know what I'm saying? Can you know can um most definitely you know sever you from from the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You don't want that. You just be like, oh man, fuck it. Cause the Lord know who done that to the ride. He know who who done that to my truck. Now if he's found. Then, you know, the, the scriptures talks about sevenfold. You know, we are in the land of our captivity, but we don't have to worry about that because trust me, hey, the Lord, he handles. The main court system, the main judging system is in the heavens. man. <laughs> it's not with some guy in a black robe down here. The Lord is the one that gives our judgment, man. But he'll, he'll use people like that to do it. So, you know, don't don't worry about stuff like that, man. You chalk it up. Hey, man, man's going over Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You find you one of those scriptures where you just, because, hey, all, all you need is one blow. Them scriptures is, is, is a two-edged sword, man. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. <laughs> it ain't got to be nothing, you know. You ain't got to be the super-duper expert, you know, though we do study on a day-to-day -day basis and, um, you know, I'm um, trying to study to show ourselves approved, like the scripture says. But had I not known that, then I could be out here, oh man, I'm pissed, mother, you know, this, that, and the third. I'm, I'm going in on everybody. No, I'm out here with a smile on my face. I don't give a shit about that shit. This man said, you know, I, I, I went to the mechanic shop. The guy was like, you know, he was like, oh man, come, you know, chop it up with me about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna come get it for you, and don't worry about no towing. That you know, and it is what it is. I just have to pay for the repairs, man. Shit, the Lord, will, you know, um, replace it. He'll he'll do what he wanted, you know, what 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 he wants to be done with it, man. That shit ain't man. And, and even if I was out here walking, shit, it's about to be a whole bunch of people out here about to become damn carotene off this boy, man. Just walking with a goddamn stick in hand with a backpack on soon. So fuck a truck. Never, <laughs> never can tell, you know, what's about to happen right now. Cause hey, things are turning up out here. You had that 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 race shit that's going on down there in Montgomery, with the so-called white men jumped on that black so-called black security guard and niggas jumping off boats, swimming to the goddamn spot to try and help him out. Hey, Jake, about to turn up. It's about to be a lot of shit that's about to happen out here, man. You don't let nothing don't let nothing deter you from this truth, man. That's that's bottom line right there. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.